And this guy is a relatively thin structure, uh, front to back. His rib cage is not very thick. So his sternal angle is not very uh, steep, if you will. It's relatively shallow and plays into a couple things. The angle at which his pec is pulling is diminished compared to if he was thicker. It also, by being thinner, allows him to go through a greater excursion with the bar. So if he's attempting, mistakenly attempting to play by the rules of powerlifting, just because he happens to have a bar in his hand and he happens to be doing a bench press, he goes to a very different shoulder position than someone who's built for bench pressing. This guy right here, same era in our presentation videos, 1999, but he's got a super thick rib cage, a barrel rib cage, if you will, and a very different sternal angle, which, as I mentioned before, stops or influences where he stops. And we think the range of motion is determined by where the bar moves and what the bar touches. The range of motion is right here, boys and girls. This is the part that matters. Only because of his structure and using a bar, he won't get as low as the other guy. His shoulder is much safer here. He's going to appear stronger here for a couple reasons. He's not going through as great an excursion at the shoulder, losing some of his mechanical ability. And even if he did go down as low in, lo at, as low in the shoulder as the other guy, his darn sternum would keep an awesome angle of the pec, maintaining some, uh, some torque generating capability. And if you compare these guys side to side and make the reference point that's consistent between the two, where their shoulders are on the bench, you can see this guy's mechanical ability is very different. His pec, if you were to outline it in your head beneath that shirt, has, a, through its array of fan-shaped fibers, an almost vertical pull, an almost 90-degree pull in the arm here at the bottom. This guy's got about a 45-degree or less force angle, a relatively small moment arm. Their strength-generating capabilities will be very different based on, upon structure, if nothing else. Um, and this, again, is why I use the body to judge range of motion and what someone brings to the table, what they have available, and, and what their goal is. I, I don't use the bar. That's random and that's just for a sport. Take a look at this guy. See if I can get this video to work. So there's a friend of ours and if you take a look from the side you can kind of see that when he stops here here's the angle of his pec fibers. Can you see that? And so they're splayed out here if I could kind of make a thing coming up from from his arm and its attachment. And he's moving straight up and these fibers are doing a great job. Now, if he had a really shallow rib cage, now let's say his sternum wasn't at this angle and his sternum was down here, then these fibers would not have such a vertical alignment of pull relative to just plane of motion. He'd have a real challenge here. And he's actually, as you're going to see, he's actually uh, in a position right now, he's chosen a thoracic position that does not take full advantage of his capabilities. So if we go look at him here, he just went into some more thoracic extension, which he has available and is comfortable for him. But look how that pec angle changed dramatically. And those decisions you make and how you give instructions or cues during the performance of an exercise change everything. And maybe the difference between someone like that thinner guy getting up and feeling nothing but anterior shoulder on what's supposed to be a chest exercise versus him getting up and going, I don't feel anything but pecs. I don't see why you find this to be a problem. So um, structural differences are huge and knowing what to do with those and how to help out some people that don't necessarily have the best genetics. Take a look as he goes on and does uh, his version of the bench press like we saw those other guys in the static picture before. He goes down, touches the bar to his chest, and there he is. Due to the thickness of his rib cage, arms virtually straight out, great mechanical ability, this pec pulling up, versus if he was really thin and his pec was pulling in this way with a much lesser ability. So those are, those are just some cool biomechanical realities that exist inside of the individual that we can see if we start looking for them below the shirt, below the skin, clear into the joint and the mechanical abilities of the force producing tissues and stop looking at the bar or the device for determining how to perform an exercise.